When Jesus departed to be with Father God, he left us the power of attorney in the form of his name to get things done here on earth as it is in heaven. Top of the morning to you. So Matthew 28, 18, Jesus, after his resurrection, came back to see the disciples for some last instructions. And he said, I have all authority in heaven and earth. Therefore, you are to go in that authority and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are then to teach them to obey all things I commanded you. Let them know that I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Mark, in his uh, book in chapter 16, verse 15, witnessed Jesus also saying, These signs will follow those who believe. In my name, or authority, they will cast out demons, speak in new tongues, take up serpents, drink poison, it will not harm them, lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So Jesus, what he was doing here was basically giving them power of attorney or the authority to act on his behalf after he ascended to the right hand of God on the mercy seat. Now in the legal power of attorney document, you are given authority, but you have to believe or have faith the document is real and that this authority exists and that you have to act on that authority. Always keeping the interests of the principal, in this case Jesus, ahead of your own interests. How do we know what the interests of Jesus are? They are written down in the Word. Revelation 19.1, in fact, says Jesus is called the Word of God. All we have to do is know what God authorizes in His Word and act on it in His name. We are only limited by what we see written and what we believe to be true or have faith. In His name or authority, for example, we can be saved, Romans 10.13. We can cast out demons. We can... For, be forgiven of all of our sins, Acts 10.43. We can do signs and wonders, Acts 4.30. We can ask Father anything according to his will, and Jesus will do it, John 15.16. We can receive God's blessings, Psalm 118.26. We can get answers to all our prayers, Psalm 25. We can get help in the day of trouble, Psalm 20, verse 1. We can bless others, 2 Samuel 6.18. So to recap, Jesus gave us power of authority in the form of his name before leaving earth to be with Father. We are his trusted agents who are known to put his interest above our own out of love and because we died to self. We are limited only by our knowledge of his will, which is located in his word. Then we must believe it to be true and act on it on Jesus' behalf. He even gave us a helper, the Holy Spirit, to ensure we couldn't go off course. That's a lot to consider. Have a great day.